welcome back in this session we are going to understand free selection in app there is a tab called free selection that we are going to simulate so i am talking about this this tab for understanding that requirement we will post a fine voice fine voices fb60 for 1000 then we will execute a app are posting select gl simulate this post to save the time we are using post with reference we posted this document this time i am not selecting display line item also just don't select anything press enter control s control s fourth document posted fifth document posted let me refresh this one so these are the document posted from 1 to 5 let me go to app f110 change this to 3 this time i am taking take any data vendor select this if you select this one system will display line items like posting key gl account amount this this is the importance of this one so that is the importance of this one select this proposal go to proposal double click on this one see here five documents selected here all these documents are selected for payment my requirement is to make payment for only one document for this document only so how to achieve that one for a selection of specific documents based on the business area let me take one example here we are not using the business area in our company code if you have a business area i am giving one example area let me take we have five business areas like 100 and 1001234 if you are executing app if you want to make payment only for particular business area then we can use this free selection take the concept from this session take the concept only since this is dynamic not only business area there are in many other fields are there based on your requirement you can select documents for payment even you can use reference number also reference number bkpf xblnr reference number that is the technical name even we can use the document number document number also we can use the reference number we can use like this this is dynamic 
take only the concept take the concept from this session based on your requirement try to simulate by using a free selection so in this scenario out of five documents we are going to make payment for one document only we are going to use free selection if you have 1000 documents since we have only five documents it will be easy for selection maybe we can block four we can block four and we can pay only so if you have many documents then selecting blocking and unblocking this becomes very difficult so we are going to use free selection click on this free selection so first we need to delete proposal click on this free selection once you click on this free selection you will find like this you will find like this what is the meaning of this one so for selecting the document you can use 1 2 3 4 these are the maximum selecting criteria you can use all based on your requirement so fields of fields fields of document is given like we posted fb60 so from this document whatever the information we have in this document you can filter based on that information like document number document number reference and vendor master master data fields and customer master since app is applicable for vendor customer both that is the reason you will find vendor as well as the customer here so we are going we are going to use document number here so document doesn't mean document number inside document we will find document numbers you will find many fields here select this one you will find long list of fields so this is dynamic that is the reason i am saying so we are going to select document number i want to select based on document number select this one so here enter the document what is the document number this document i want to make the payment 190020 190020 enter like this so if i enter like this system is not going to select this document the reason press f1 this is field press f1 list of values which should be included or excluded specify a list of single values or intervals here all values with full length understand the meaning of this full length must be specified in ascending order what is the meaning of this one if i want to select ascending order also we'll understand this first we'll understand this meaning of full length see full length means 200 00 00 00 our document number is 230020 this is our document number so here how many digits we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 then what is the field number bkpf is the table bkpf i think xblnr xblnr the field length by default given by sap is 10 digits 10 digits so if i enter only these six digits system is not going to consider your document you are going to get a error then what to do we need to prefix leading zeros these are called leading zeros to fill the gap like this we need to enter 1 2 3 4 if your document number if your length of this document number is 7 then enter 3 only in our case we have length of this document number is 6 you need to prefix this then 200 Zero to zero. Like this, you need to enter. Again, uh, if you have length of your document seven, then use three only. Length eight, use two. Length nine, use one. So likewise, if you have 
length of this uh, document then 10 then don't use no zeros no zeros that is the importance of uh, full length meaning another must be specified in uh, ascending order ascending order the numbers i want to select uh, two documents 20 and uh, 23 20 and uh, 23 so can i enter while entering this in the field can i enter like this two double zero 23 comma two can i enter like this i cannot enter like this it should be in serial this should be come first this should go to second that is the meaning of this one here one example given by SAP for business area. If you want to select business area, then like this. See, 1, 7, 10, 19. This example is given for ascending order, for understanding. Uh, specify a list of single values. This is for single value example. This is for single value. Interval also here. Interval, how to mention the range? We need to open brackets. If I want to select from a this uh, this document 22 22 let me take i post it up to 26 here in here i need to enter like this open the brackets 000 since my document length is 6 20 0 20 from this give the comma and 000 26 like this we need to enter hope you understand this how to use this standard functionality let us go to free selection so here i entered like this that means the system is not going to select one two three four i am prefixing let me open a document go to fb03 take any document see document number we are using press f1 press of f1 on this field go to technical information see belner is the say belner not xblnr belner is the field name for uh, this uh, bkpf belner xblnr means uh, reference double click on this one belner we are going to field to check what is the length. Belner, this is the Belner. So what is the length here? See length, length is 10 digits. That is the reason we are filling that gap by using leading zeros. Go back. So like this. Save. Execute proposal. Go to proposal, double click on this one. See how many documents selected here? Only one document is selected. Hope you understand how we are using free selection. This is, this is dynamic. Based on your requirement, you explore this one. So go to delete this proposal. Go to free selection. See so far what we did we explicitly mentioned one document i want to select this document so now uh, now we are changing the scenario i don't want to select this document then what to do i want to there are five documents posted out of five documents i want to make the payment for four and i want to exclude this one so click on this uh, exclude values see the difference system will select uh, four documents Click on proposal, double click on this one, see how many documents selected from 18 to 22 selected. Hope you understand the difference how we are using this. That is the use of free selection. The main objective of this session is to explain how this free selection is working. You can take a different scenario or you can simulate the same. 
understand the difference how we are entering thank you